Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this weekend. Good evening and thank you for watching News 8 Now this weekend. I'm Jeremy Wall. People in lacrosse laced up their sneakers to end Alzheimer's. This morning, over 400 people walked throughout Riverside Park. And what you see there, the 2023 walk to end Alzheimer's. Every year, the walk honors people living with the disease. The money goes towards research and funding to try to find a cure. The UW Lacrosse Marching Band on Alaska Volleyball Team and Lacrosse Health Science Academy cheered on the walkers. One woman participated with her husband who has the disease. She says, you can still enjoy life even if you or someone you know is impacted. I just want people to realize that once you get the diagnosis or you're thinking you may have a loved one with the diagnosis, your life doesn't come to an end. You can still be engaged in the community. You can still make a, per you can still have purpose of life. Last year, $80,000 was raised. The Alzheimer's Association is hoping to beat that record this year. The organization will also honor the teams who raised money on November 9th at the waterfront. A heartfelt story from Minnesota. This week, a high school football captain just made an incredible comeback. He's tackling a tough diagnos diagnosis. Luckily, he has an entire community on his team. It's a blessing that number 33 is even on the field. I'm a, I'm a lucky guy that I get to coach him. Wyzetta senior captain Jack Simon started Thursday night in their game against Shakopee. He's out there while his stage 2 Hodgkin's lymphoma is in remission. And it's awesome just being out there every day, being with, with the guys, not having to worry about my health. It's a lot less anxiety than last year. Overcoming his cancer wasn't the end of Jack's story. Here you are. In a Plymouth ice cream shop, Captain Jack Crunch gets the front row spotlight as flavor of the month. Honey and Mackey's worked with Jack to develop the brown sugar and butter based ice cream. I had a lot of input. They asked like what my favorite types of foods were. I said cereal and then we decided on Captain Crunch. Very good. Kelly Brown Real Estate Group is donating a dollar to Wyzetta's Tackle Cancer Fundraiser for every scoop sold. He could have easily said, you know what, uh, this is tough and why me and instead put his focus on and, and helping other people and raising awareness. What makes this fundraiser even more special is the personal connection. The owner of Honey and Mackey's son is a teammate here of Jack's. He's the quarterback and a fellow captain. He is passionate um, about his cause, which is, um, you know, cancer and football. Turning this like horrible thing into something bigger than myself, it's been awesome seeing the community kind of rally behind me. David Schumann, WCCO News. Well, switching gears to some weather news, Lee is stirring up high surf and rip currents at beaches on Long Island and the Jersey Shore today. Fierce waves and pounding surf are passing by as Lee moves towards or moves toward Canada, where it's expected to make landfall if it hasn't already. Now, WCBS reports the parking lot on Dune Road at the edge of the Sh Shincock Inlet in Southampton was flooded during high tide on Saturday morning. Swimming was declared dangerous and off limits Saturday, according to WCBS. It wasn't immediately clear if lifeguards will allow swimming on Sunday. We have to be able to move our sand around quickly. Uh, we have heavy machinery out there, so I want to make sure people also stay out of our way uh, so that we can uh, do our job and try to prevent the breach from forming. Well, I always take my good camera with me with a zoom lens as well as my cell phone because sometimes one, you know, one is better than the other. We're still trying to rebuild the dunes from last season because that's what keeps the dunes up is the seagrass. And every time the, the ocean breaks through, it rips out the seagrass. And you know, the Northeast wasn't the only part uh, getting impacts from Lee. Over 100,000 people were without power in Nova Scotia, Canada on Saturday, as post-tropical storm Lee, as what it's called now, brought high winds to the region. A Nova Scotia power outage map showed Hurricane Lee cl uh, class was classified as a category one storm and was expected to make landfall along the east coast of the U.S. and Atlantic Can Canada on Saturday afternoon. The power outages were caused by tropical storm force winds that knocked down trees across the area. Nova Scotia Power says crews were having trouble restoring power as the high winds continued, the company says. Wind warnings were also in effect for the Maritimes region of Canada with gusts of up to 100 kilometers an hour. 
environment, uh, according to environmental, Environment Canada. A hurricane watch was also issued for several counties, including Halifax on Friday. And this footage you're looking at by Wilfred Mulder shows rough seas in Halifax Harbor this morning. <laughs> Some showers are still possible throughout the overnight hours, but for the most part, the heaviest has passed our area. And then we are going to see clear skies by the time we get to tomorrow. But again, some light showers are still possible, but we're not expected to see any storms like we saw earlier. Now, I also want to point out that temperatures tonight, they're going to be pretty close to average for the southern portion of the area. But up north, we could see low temperatures dropping into the upper 40s because really after midnight, we are going to see a lot more clear skies. Now, as we head towards the morning hours, we also are going to see some pretty foggy weather. So here's a look at the future track visibility. We could see visibility drop below three miles at times. Now, the uh, the densest fog will be to the southeast of our area in south and southern Wisconsin. But for the most part, just prepare for the foggy weather into the overnight hours and tomorrow morning. But by the time we get to the afternoon, we are going to see more sunshine. I'll have more details on the forecast for next week coming up a bit later in the show. A mystery pink pigeon has been surprising the public around Manchester, UK since the start of September with police in Bury spotting it on Friday. Footage recorded by Myla Nichols shows a pink pigeon near the Rock Shopping Center in Barrie on September 4th. Facebook users have been spotting a pink bird in the area since at least the start of this month. On Friday, Barrie North Police said their officer spotted a pink pigeon while on patrol. Storyful has not confirmed whether all the sightings show the same bird. The Royal Society for the Protection of Birds confirmed that the pigeon has been artificially dyed rather than changed color naturally. The Manchester Evening News reported the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals expressed concern for the welfare of the bird. Tell the Manchester Evening News that if someone has intentionally painted the pigeon's feathers, this is very worrying as it could cause health problems, impair their ability to fly, and make them more vulnerable to predators. Still ahead on News 8, the CDC is encouraging everyone six months and older to get the new COVID vaccine. We'll have what variant it's targeted towards. But first, parents are being urged to take away a popular toy from their kids. Find out why and what you can do if your child has it. That's up next. It's the biggest event in King Furniture's history. A total liquidation of all stock items. Over $2 million of quality name brand furniture priced for immediate liquidation. We're sacrificing all our inventory so we can complete a total renovation. Don't miss the King Furniture total liquidation sale going on now. Hear everything but the gunshot. Introducing Soundgear Phantom, the world's first custom Bluetooth compatible and rechargeable hearing protection and enhancement device. Blocking loud harmful noises while giving you that edge to hear better while hunting. Better Hearing Center, 11th and Main on Alaska. Start your adventure and get in a new Jeep at Pishke Motors Lacrosse or Pishke Motors West Salem. Stop in now during the Jeep Adventure Day sales event. You'll save over 10% off MSRP on a 2023 Jeep Renegade, a 2023 Jeep Compass, or a 2023 Jeep Gladiator. These Jeeps are ready for your next adventure. Pure comfort and functionality at your fingertips with the power and confidence you know Jeep provides. Stop in now because this offer ends October 2nd. Start your search at Pishke.com. And drive away in your new Jeep. Get yourself to the annual Warren's Cranberry Festival the last full weekend in September. Stroll over three miles of the most unique art and craft, flea and farm vendors in the country. If you can't find it here, you won't find it anywhere. See a working cranberry marsh with free walking tours. Eat your way through over 80 food booths, including ethnic specialties and Warren's own cranberry cream pump. And stay through Sunday and enjoy our grand parade. It's all happening the last full weekend of September. Just take the Warren's exit off I-94. Hear everything but the gunshot. Introducing Soundgear Phantom, the world's first custom Bluetooth compatible and rechargeable hearing protection and enhancement device. Blocking loud harmful noises while giving you that edge to hear better while hunting. Better Hearing Center, 11th and Main on Alaska. It's the biggest event in King Furniture's history. A total liquidation of all stock items. Over $2 million of quality name brand furniture priced for immediate liquidation. We're sacrificing all our inventory so we can complete a total renovation. Don't miss the King Furniture total liquidation sale going on now. Welcome back from ensuring your car getting more expensive to a children's toy getting recalled 
and inflation rising again. Christine Lazar has your eye on consumer. Parents are being urged to take a popular toy away from their children. More than 50,000 Chuckle and Roar Ultimate Water Beads activity kits are being recalled after a 10-month-old child died from swallowing the beads. The recalled kits made by Buffalo Games were sold exclusively at Target. Customers can contact the company for a refund. Inflation is on the rise again. A report shows the rate was up 3.7% in August, a jump from June and July. Higher gas prices are a big reason why. AAA says regular unleaded is up about 17 cents a gallon over the past year. One bright spot, prices at the grocery store continue to ease. The cost to insure your car is also on the rise, up 19% compared to a year ago. That's the largest year-over-year -year increase since 1976. Inflation, along with higher costs for new cars and repairs, are contributing to the spike. And that's your Eye on Consumer. I'm Christine Lazar, CBS News. Los Angeles. A thousand drones lit up New York City, City's night sky on call for great protection of the Amazon rainforest. Just days before the world leaders are due to fly into the city to address the United Nations General Assembly. Wildlife such as jaguars and birds shine down in bright colors between Manhattan and Queens. Now among the speakers at the UN is Brazil's President Luiz Inacio Lula da Silva, who has prioritized boosting safeguards for the Amazon. Global web movement Avaz sponsored and organized the show. Avaz says its mission is to bring people power politics to decision making everywhere. Uniting Amazon countries such as Peru and Colombia are against criminal activity in the world's largest rainforest, which is key to Lula's efforts after four years of soaring deforestation under predecessor Herr Bolsonaro. Coming up on News 8, the CDC is encouraging everyone six months in order to get the new COVID vaccine. Find out what variants it's targeted towards next. During the four-day sale at Home Furniture, get up to an extra 15% off sale prices with instant factory rebates on your favorite furniture and mattresses. Plus, get free shipping and free financing when you spend $4.99. Hurry, Home's four-day sale ends Monday. At Batteries Plus, we bring power to your life. Extreme heat is tough on your car battery. If you're not sure how much life is left in your car or truck battery, visit us for a free battery test today. Southern fried food legends include hush puppies, fish, and fries. So Arby's made a $5 hush puppy breaded fish basket. A legend made a legend of legends. Arby's, we have the meat. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You can even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line? You'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Birthdays are something to celebrate, and our News 8 This Morning team highlight them every day. If someone you know is turning 8 or 88, submit a picture of them at News8000.com today. Look Who's 8, brought to you locally by Pediatric Dentistry of Onalaska. Little teeth, big smiles. It's the National Rug Sale at Homeworld Rugs. All rugs are 12% off sale prices with instant factory rebates. These 5x8 size featured rugs are now just $1.75 each. Every area rug is on sale now. The National Rug Sale at Homeworld Rugs.
From increasing your odds of becoming pregnant to new COVID-19 vaccines being available, CBS's Haley Ott has the week's top health stories. The CDC is recommending everyone six months and older get the new COVID-19 vaccine after the FDA approved the updated Pfizer and Moderna shots on Monday. The vaccine is similar to previously approved formulas, but was updated to target the XBB variants that became prevalent last winter. Some major pharmacies say they've already got the shots in stock. Meanwhile, vaccines for the upcoming flu season are showing promise in fighting influenza. Early data from five South American countries during their 2023 flu season, which is during the summer in the United States, showed the vaccines reduced flu-related hospitalizations by 52%. The CDC says the shots could provide similar protection in the U.S., though there's no guarantee. And if you're trying to get pregnant, it's all in the timing. Each month offers just a narrow window for conception. A new study from the U.K. found women who use ovulation tests increase their chances of getting pregnant and giving birth by 28 percent. That's compared to 18 percent for those who did not use the tests. Those are some of the week's top health stories. Haley Ott, CBS News, New York. Here are the three things you need to know as we head into next week. After the light rain we see throughout the night, we are going to be dry for the next several days. And then high temperatures for the middle and especially towards the later half of the week. We could see highs up into the 80s. And then we have a good chance of rain for next weekend and possibly even before and after next weekend. So there are uh, several uh, days in a row towards the end of next week and the beginning of the following week where we could see some much needed rain fall. Now for the rest of the night we could continue to see some light showers but the heaviest rain has definitely passed. For the most part we actually are going to see a lot of clear skies but maybe a few sh uh, shower or two could pop up across our area not expected to uh, make uh, create much of an impact and then during the afternoon tomorrow we're going to see very nice conditions with a lot of sunshine maybe a few clouds at times and highs in the 70s and then for Monday we're going to see similar conditions to tomorrow with high temperatures once again back in the 70s along with quite a bit of sunshine. Now here's a look at the high temperatures from today. A little bit cooler compared to what we have seen. Highs were right around 70 for a lot of the region. And then as we head into the overnight hours, we'll see low temperatures dropping into the lower 50s, upper 40s for areas to the north up in near Eau Claire. But for the most part, nothing extreme tonight. And then tomorrow, nothing extreme either. Highs will be in the lower 70s to upper 60s. A pretty comfortable day. Maybe night might need a light sweater for uh, a brief period of time during the morning, but for the most part, it's going to be uh, pretty nice tomorrow. Now, as we go into next week, as I mentioned, especially towards the middle and end of the week, we are going to see those above average temperatures, and that's pretty evident on the six to 10 day temperature outlook where really the entire Great Lakes region will see the above average temperatures and especially here in Wisconsin. And then looking at precipitation, we also are going to see above average precipitation, and this is something that we desperately need considering our current drought situation. Situation. It does look like the wettest conditions will be to the west of our area across the Dakotas, but it looks like we are going to see some much needed rainfall. So here's a look at the seven day forecast. High temperatures will be right around 80 degrees, especially Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, but we could possibly see some areas creep into the 80s on Saturday and Tuesday, maybe even Friday as well. Now we do have a slight chance of storms Tuesday and Wednesday, pretty small chance, not expect to see a lot, but then Thursday and Friday we have a chance of of rain and then as we head into next weekend we have a very uh, good chance of rain and some models have been really pushing up the rain totals for the end of next week so I'm hoping that stays consistent considering um, our current drought situation with parts of the area under exceptional drought so we'll have more details on the potential rain for next weekend as it gets closer but for the start of next week it's looking very nice with high temperatures in the 70s and a lot of sunshine and I also want to point out after the rain moves through it looks like we may only see highs in the upper 60s so some cooler temperatures are expected to follow but before that, we'll see the rainfall and the high temperatures possibly in the 80s for the middle of the week. All right, well, coming up in sports, a big day of college football, both UWL and Wisconsin. We're looking to get back in the win, back in the win, back with some wins. Kate has the highlights next. The Board Store, the best products, best prices, and best people for all home improvements. Contact us today for a prompt free estimate. 
It's the biggest sale of the year. During the Labor Day sales event at PM Sleep Center, you'll save up to $800 on select Stearns and Foster adjustable mattress sets. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. Earn a 25 cent high V fuel saver for every $50 you spend. That's a 25 cent fuel saver. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Only at High V. It's time for Jolivet Family Farms Fall Harvest. There's no substitute for homegrown freshness. Stop by today for some of Jolivet's homegrown raspberries, squash, crowd cabbage, popcorn, and large selection of apples. Hardy mums are now in bloom and available at Jolivet's. Find distinctive crafts and decor, Wisconsin wines, take home some apple crisp, apple pies, caramel apples, and apple cider donuts from our homemade bakery. Buy fresh, buy local. Open daily year-round. Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. Dear veteran, if you or someone you know struggles with PTSD, family relationships, financial or other hardships, let us help get you back on track. Here at Project New Hope, we offer a no-cost weekend wilderness retreat with only one mission, you. Licensed counselors are available around the clock, meals are provided, and there is no obligation to you. For more information, please visit projectnewhope.net and let us help bring you home. Earn a 25 cent high V fuel saver for every $50 you spend. That's a 25 cent fuel saver. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Only at High V. It's the biggest sale of the year during the Labor Day sales event at PM Sleep Center. You'll save up to $500 on select Sealy adjustable mattress sets. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving LaCrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now Sports. Welcome to News 8 Now Sports. I'm Kate Overton. We've got a jam-packed Saturday filled with a lot of sports, including week three of the college football season. Both the Wisconsin Badgers and UW Eagles coming off of losses in two games that felt very winnable. But a lot of times in sports, it's all about how you respond, and both teams did so in a big way. Let's start with the Eagles on the road taking on a bigger Division II school in Northern Michigan University. First drive of the game, third and four for the Eagles. Kaiser Helderbrand play action and finds Wyatt Lemoyne, and he brings it all the way to the five. A few plays later, it's Helterbrand up the middle, in for the score. First drive for Northern Michigan, third and ten. As we get this highlight, excuse me, there we go. A few plays later, Helterbrand in for the score, up the middle and in. UWL on top. First drive for Northern Michigan, third and 10. UWL bringing the heat, and Jake Billets is brought down on the sack. Wildcats forced to punt. Next, Eagles drive. First and goal, Helterbrand throwing the fader out, and Ryan Bartol is going to come down with it for the touchdown. Eagles take a 14 point lead. Then, with just over a minute to go in the half, Helterbrand going to the end zone, and guess who? It's Bartol making the catch. Eagles go up 24 as they would go on to win 34 to 3 from Division 3 to Division 2. Winona State on the road, but the Warriors come up short 36 to 10. They'll be back at home next Saturday. All right, let's go to Madison. Slow start for the Badgers. Scoreless first quarter, but early in the second, it's Tanner Mordecai. Bad snap, doesn't matter. The QB takes it in himself. 7 0 Wisconsin. Now tied. The Eagles are driving, looking downfield, but the throw goes high, and Ricardo Hallman is right there for the interception. Badgers, but the Badgers failed to capitalize, and this game was tied at half. And to start the second half, it's Georgia Southern taking the lead on the long touchdown pass. Badgers in trouble, but the Wisconsin Badgers, they got the ground game going. Braylon Allen from four yards out, muscles his way in. We're tied at 14. Still in the third, check out the moves from Mordecai. Feeling the pressure, and he takes off. Up the field past everybody, and he's in for the score. Badgers with the lead. And then after another Wisconsin interception, it's Allen from two yards out. Badgers now in full control. Wisconsin, they entered as 20-point favorites. And Ches Malusi, he's going to make it 20 with this touchdown run right here. PAT good to make it 21. Badgers get the win 35-14. to Slow start for Wisconsin, but Coach likes what he sees. He's even got some jokes. Well, we wanted to make it exciting, so uh, you guys can thank me later. Um, we did our best to make it as exciting as we possibly could. Now we just got to find ways to, you know, 
pull that out and, and, and that be who we are from the get go. And, and that's always, I mean, if we had that formula, we would, you know, we'd have something different. Everybody would. And the Badgers are going to need to figure out their first half woes very quickly as Wisconsin kicks off Big Ten play this upcoming Friday. You heard that on Friday against the Purdue Boilermakers kickoff at 6 p.m. And just a quick reminder, the Packers back in action tomorrow afternoon on the road in Atlanta. Two young teams looking to prove themselves. Be sure to check your fantasy teams, however, as Green Bay promoted Patrick Taylor from their practice squad in anticipation of Aaron Jones being out with that hamstring injury. I'll have full coverage of this game tomorrow. That's pretty much all the football I have right now. I will have an update from the Minnesota Golden Gophers game tonight at 10, along with the updates from the MLB. That's all for sports. We'll be right back. See the stories you missed or watch them again on our YouTube page. Or find us at news8000.com. So I come to this country looking for opportunities and I found out the pilgrims. The opportunities in here are like infinity. Give pilgrims an opportunity, it's gonna be great and it's a really, really good place to work. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older, I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys, me. <laughs> hey Mike, I'm Sheila from Security and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood, and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? Well, it's going to be a beautiful sunny day today, and we can expect much more of the same over the next few Motorcycles are not invisible. But they can seem that way to drivers who aren't paying close attention. Look twice for motorcycles. Seeing them is saving them. My career path, I started as a quality technician and was promoted three times in three years and now I'm a quality lead. I encourage others to apply at Pilgrims for the pay, the hours, the benefits, and to be one big loving family. Hi, my car was just towed. He looks just like Mario Lopez. That, that's me. <laughs> just gonna need to see your ID. It's actually in my car. I'm Mario Lopez and this is Access Hollywood. Hey, I'm Mario Lopez and this is Access Hollywood. It's close. No way. Mario has access almost everywhere. Late night at one on my eight. Here's one final look at your forecast. We're going to see very nice temperatures to start next week. We'll see highs in the mid 70s with a lot of sunshine, but then the temperatures are going to warm up with highs in the lower 80s for the middle of the week. And then we have several chances of rain to end the week and to begin the following week. And after the rain, temperatures will cool off with highs only in the 60s. All right, and thank you so much for tuning into this edition of News 8 Now. I'll see you again at 10.